All right, we're going to try this recording thing. My boy JMC over at noon showed me how to do this. Um, so uh, we're giving it a shot. So this stealthy fight turns out being slightly more problematic than uh, I had originally anticipated. I definitely overlooked it a little bit. Um, as you'll see in it, he obviously gets power when he evades because of the untouchables. But he then gets himself into this SP1 cycle for a little bit where it just gives him the evade charge back. So that was fun. Um, and I lose my invulnerability boost like probably 15 seconds into this fight right here. I think it's right here, yeah. Yeah, I lose it. So that was cool. Um, normally when he evades, he just keeps dashing backwards. <coughs> I've never really had him punish me that often. Um, so I did not anticipate that either. But uh, trying to bait his SB2 here before he pushes me back into the corner that much. Um, so I just kind of push him back a little bit. And there he goes, he throws it. I get into binary. Now at this point, normally this fight would be over. I would cycle back-to-back -back SP2s, um, and then it would be done. But he has the evade charge, and I can't remember for the life of me if he can evade specials with it. I don't think he can, but in war, you always gotta play it safe. Um, unless like, you just don't have another option and you kind of have to YOLO it, but I didn't here, so I just played it safe. Um, that was a sweet miss parry. So I go for the SP3, and this fight's pretty much going to be over. I think I finish roughly at this health. Um, my next fight, though, that air waffle, and then an Arcus after it. I had the same setup last season, and I ended up dying to that Arcus because out of reflexes or my thumbs went rogue, I'm not entirely sure, I tried dexing one of his SP1s in the fight without even thinking about it. And it did not work, and I got hit by his special, which put the crossfight on me. So then the crossfight lowers the potency of any buffs you have, and it also causes armor breaks to deal damage. So last season, when going into that Arcus fight, I didn't know if I should use a combat regen or an invulnerability boost. Well, I went with a combat regen to combat the DOT from the armor breaks, and I ended up getting special threed, got out of it, tried finishing it and died with Arcus at 4% from the armor break damage. So I didn't realize last season when that happened that the reason the crossfight got put on me was because I didn't block the last hit of Airwalker's special. So when you don't block it, it puts a Dark Tide debuff on you as well as another one for each additional buff he has. And here he has 10 resistance buffs and the power cosmic. So in this fight, he ends up throwing a special two that I don't block. And because he has 11 buffs, it converts the 11 debuffs that it would put on me into the crossfight there. It just happened right there. So now I have that crossfight passive, the dark tide passive on me. So I'm in the same position as I was last season. And last season after I died, I said I should have used an invulnerability boost. So that's what I'm going to do here. Um, also... I have 150% and 8% Cosmic Boosts on right now. I'm going to up those to 212% just because I want to try to kill this Arcus as quickly as possible. Um, I'm going to be taking a lot of damage from him, mainly from the armor breaks. Um, so ideally, you want to finish it before you die from that because it's actually pretty potent. Um, I do make a mistake though, and I end up losing my invulnerability to tenacity, which I was paying attention to the armor breaks and the time and his health, um, and that tenacity caught me, which I suppose that's the point of it, but um, it was an oversight on my part. So I believe last season there was one point in the fight where he gets to a special two. And rather than try and bait it, I decided to push it. And I pushed him to the special three, which I sh I don't know if I should have or I shouldn't have. I mean, he was pretty close to a special three. But here, after I throw my special two, he gets a special two. And I kind of freeze for a second because I'm like, last time I pushed it and I died. Um, but here, I was like, you know what? I think I could finish this. So... I froze for a second, but then I went for it, got to the special two, threw it, and it ends up killing him, which I am very happy about. That fight had my heart beating crazy. Um, 
It's the most my heart's beat in a war fight in a long time. Um, so this Magneto is pretty easy with Cap IW. I don't normally like bringing one champ for one fight. Um, and I've taken this Mags with Fury plenty of times. It's a little bit more tricky with Fury because it's just pretty much all intercepts the whole time. And I've definitely lost my first life, I think, twice. Um, but most of the time I finish it still in first life without losing that much. It, I guess it just depends on the AI. Um, I only had five fights this war, though. So I had enough room to bring Cap IW, I guess. Although I probably could have brought like a White Mags or a Mr. F pre-fight or, or something and helped out another way. Um, but it is what it is. And then the fight after this is a Kingpin, which... I mean, you can pretty much take with anybody. It's just, you don't need a white max pre-fight for that. It's just bait heavies to get openings, push into a special one, bait the special one, get more openings, rinse and repeat. I mean, it's a long fight, so I'm probably not going to comment it on it. Um, I'm probably going to finish it up here and just let the video play out. But, uh, yeah, that's all she wrote. All right, take it easy.